Are you ready for some good news? When you're at your worst, Jesus delights to meet you. And today's text from Mark chapter 16. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. And he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He's risen. He's not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he's going before you to Galilee. Go tell his disciples and Peter. When the terrified women encountered the angel at the empty tomb, the messenger instructed the women to tell the disciples to go to Galilee to meet Jesus. But oddly, wonderfully, the angel mentioned one disciple by name. Go tell his disciples and Peter. Jesus must have risen from the grave and had a little chat with the angel in glorious raiment. Be sure, let all the disciples know that I'll go before them to meet them in Galilee. I'll see them there. Oh, Jesus must have said to the angel, and be sure, tell Peter. I'm looking forward to seeing him too. Be sure to tell him, Peter. The one who failed Jesus most poignantly and who bore the shame of faithlessness most painfully, Peter, was invited by name to the Easter party. When you failed God, failed others, or failed yourself, God wants to be with you. Jesus didn't say, send word to Peter and ask him if he's learned his lesson. Lord didn't want to know if Peter had demonstrated a more faithful heart since the day of his threefold denial. He just wanted Peter to come to Galilee. So on Easter Day, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome came running to the disciples with unbelievable news. The Lord's risen, just like he said. And he's going before us to Galilee. We'll see him there. And he wants to see you all there. And Peter... He mentioned you by name. He, he wanted to be sure that you got the message personally. He's looking forward to seeing you, Peter. He really is looking forward to seeing you. I imagine the weathered fisherman's throat tightened with emotion. As moisture came to his eyes, he was loved, still loved, still wanted. He'd done his worst. He had wilted under the heat of persecution. He had denied Jesus. Some scholars suggest he actually cursed the name of Jesus and Peter was still loved. You're still loved, no matter what. No matter how bad, no matter how often, you're still loved. If Jesus wanted to be with the man who wickedly denied him three times, you can be sure he wants to be with you. So run to Galilee. Run to the heart of the Savior. He wants you. He welcomes you. He loves you no matter what. And that's the gospel. That's today's good news. You can get more good news just like it by clicking right here. Better yet, subscribe and get all of these devotionals. And I hope you have a day filled with hope.